retroactive to April 19th. It applies to both full-time and part-time employees. And a B.C. provincial court judge says a Vancouver man who thumbed his nose at COVID restrictions by turning his penthouse into a makeshift nightclub is no better than a drug dealer fueling the deadly opioid crisis. Mohamed Mobasagi has been sentenced to one day in jail and ordered to pay a $5,000 fine. More BC News coming up at the bottom of the hour. Thank you very much, Robert Zerman. Hello, Samir Kareem. Hello, Sarah Penton. I'm just, I've been having so much fun listening to me. We've had a lot of smart listeners and people who know about crows. Yeah, it's great. I don't know anything about crows, so I really appreciate getting a chance to hear these calls. Which has been written about and documented for, for decades in the kitchen and making it something very different. Well, I, I, I wake up every morning and um, bef before I go meditate, I'm saying to myself, today I'm lucky I'm waking up and I'm going to use all my energies to do good deeds. I'm going to make sure that I don't get angry. I'm going to make sure I don't. No. <laughs> That's always the answer. <laughs> I know this is a question many of you, this is me keeping everyone up at night, how many T-Rexes roamed North America during the Cretaceous period? We finally have the answer. So a team out of the University of Berkeley uh, has been pondering this question for a while and finally they thought, well, let's, let's run some modeling and see if we can find the answer. And the research is published. It's the cover of this week's journal, Science. Mm -hmm. So they came up with about 20,000 adult T-Rexes lived at any one time, which means that some 2.5 billion T-Rexes lived and died over the uh, two and a half million years the dinosaurs walked the earth. <laughs> so however you are visualizing right, right now, that is the right way to do it. However, you are trying to fit all those dinosaurs in your head. Uh, but it's an interesting and fun project, but it's also a good uh, research practice to try and figure out how to both extrapolate from the fossils that we have and use different kind of modeling based on the relationships that modern day mammals and animals have uh, based on their size and the space they take up. So they, they kind of use the relationship. Dalhousie University, who's written extensively on how the military legal system handles sexual assault cases. And she joins me now from Halifax. Welcome to the house. Thank you. I want to start uh, by getting you to explain how the military justice system differs from its civilian counterpart. Can you briefly highlight the differences? Sure. So uh, there are a number of, I think, significant differences in this context. The first is that the in the military justice system, individuals can be charged under either or both of the criminal code and the national defense country, we have one-tenth the population, we have one-tenth, well, less than one-tenth the tax revenue, and uh, we have a... Uh, uh Miss 
you all, but now is not the time to welcome you back. We need a few more weeks to get ourselves ready to do that. North in Pemberton, the message from Mayor Mike Richmond is the same, and he says that may have been lost in the new travel ban announcement, which combined Coastal Health and Fraser Health. In announcing that the, the two regions were combined on one hand, saying thing on the in the row uh, that left a total of a buck fifty tip, and it was kind of because my staff was having to be the policeman and 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 kind of argue with these people, and uh, so I thought if we're not making money on the front end of the house, then I could you know do something else. And uh, the staff were hesitant for a moment, but they kind of trusted me to put them in their safety and health first. And I think that uh, long term, I'm hoping that we didn't get sick this weekend, and then we'd be buying into maintaining our equipment, keeping it. Uh, looking great and trying to get, you know, the most life out of them. So it's, it's questionable why somebody would target uh, a fire engine. Falkinson is asking anyone that has information about the vandalism to contact RCMP. And it will soon be easier to find your way around a small indigenous... Two in his likeness will be erected outside Wrigley Field. It's a long way from the racism <coughs> he faced as a young black player in the South. You enjoyed playing the game. You felt safe on the field. But when the game's over, where we're going to eat? Uh, what hotel we're staying at? In an hour, Fergie Jenkins is here to talk about a baseball career that took him from Chatham to Chicago, playing for the. And the value of those interpreters. Um, so, because right now we see so much. Um, uh, advocacy for, for deaf and hard of hearing who are requesting interpreters even to go to the, the hospital for a surgery. Um, some hospitals are reluctant to provide the interpreters. Um, so deaf uh, patients are having to advocate for their rights at the same time that they're, you know, requiring surgery. They're... I mean, a lot of people took the bus because they couldn't afford to fly. Well, that's true. And, and of course, uh, it may be even less affordable once the pandemic closes and they their bills, but uh, I think, you know, in general, the, the bus here, we have stayed in Surrey, we have stayed in our hall, we have minimum dining in the restaurant, we have limited our family visit to anywhere. So, but sometimes you know it's a life, so you have to go somewhere. So, that's the reason we travel to India, but this, this even if the federal federal government has given us some time, that okay, we have one week to come back, for sure I would have been for the sticker. I think even if I had to spend some money for changing the ticket. to about this a lot of folks in our listening area you know certainly very well aware of uh, bear behavior but just to start off with can you just talk to us about what's happening with bears in the spring and how they're different this time of year uh, than any other sure so well as we all know bears are coming out of hibernation right now like March April is kind of the time when they start to emerge from their dens and we'll see the dominant males first and then the lone bears and then the females with cubs will come out more in April and Services and Procurement Minister Anita Onan says Canada has signed a deal with Pfizer to buy 35 million doses of booster vaccines next year and another 30 million the year after. 
this agreement with Pfizer will provide us with the flexibility to procure booster shots as well as new vaccine formulations to protect as well as another bank a few days earlier. He was convicted of grand larceny, two counts of entering a bank with intent to steal and second-degree burglary.